Hey everyone, this is Frital Thakur Asia Raven. I'm here with my reaction review of Canada's Drag Race season number 2, episode number 10, which is the season 2 finale. We have our top 3. We're finally going to see who's going to get crowned. Now, personally, I think that it's going to be between Kendall and Isis. I like Batia, but I don't think that she'll be the winner, but could be wrong. So in this episode, there's, there was no mini challenge. The queens had to learn choreo, they ha uh, choreography from Hollywood Jade. They also had to write their own lyrics for the final performance, which is basically them sing having a singing role in uh, Brooklyn's Queen of the North song. So yeah. Oh yeah, also basically the mini challenge was each queen individually got to have a photo shoot with Priyanka, the winner of season number one. That was fun and Priyanka got to sit down with them for a bit and ask it, and ask them about uh, their experience throughout the show. But anyway, it's time for the final performance. Let's watch. Your uh, engines. And may the best drag queen. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're getting the final performance between our top three. Oh, yeah, I see, I see looks for all three of them. I said that first. Mm -hmm. The door is coming through. Cool. Mm -hmm. Who's up next, though? Kendall, uh -huh. West Coast Diva. <laughs> Body suit, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Hey. goddess. Mm. The best. Mm. Better. Oh, yeah, levels. Mm. Queens. Queens. All of them are queens. Mm. I mean, it's a, it's a fun performance. I think that uh, Kendall and Isis are giving us energy. Pitya isn't, Pitya isn't at that level, but let's see when the judges decide where he is. Coronation Eleganza. Coronation Eleganza. First up, oh, I, Isis oh. Couture. Oh! Amazing Isis. Is Amazing! It is my day. Oh. She really like putting things in her mouth, huh? That Hellraiser one that she did. For the styling of this look, it's all about showcasing the skin that I'm in. It's elegant, it's edgy. This is me celebrating a powerful hourglass shape. I'm here on this runway to the Of course. Of course, of course. If he has you to do something different. I feel like I have carved myself a work of art. I look like an being from Olympus itself. It's sort of a testament to all the work that I have done building myself from the way She looks very good. I am but I still don't think that she's going to be the winner. Look at me. I could I be wrong. Oh my god. Yeah, there we go. Oh my god. Ah. You look mm -hmm. absolutely stunning. What was your journey road to where I am today? Definitely has not been easy. I come from a Hispanic household where me being me was just not okay. I come from a household of physical violence. I come from a past of trying to take my own life. Yeah. And I came to a point where I needed to take control of my own life and find something that made me happy. And that's something that I found was drag. Mm. 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 Mm -hmm. Tell me about your journey to get to this point. For me, when I was born, I think as soon as I came out, I was very flamboyant, I was very effervescent, instantly from day one. And unfortunately for me, at a very young age, I went through some pretty serious abuse. Mm. And my trajectory from that abuse turned into a very serious problem with drugs and alcohol. And for me, drugs and alcohol stole so many years of my life mm, yeah. and so many Dying. opportunities that I feel mm. like I could have had the thing that turned my light back on was drag I'm like on the verge of tears mm. when you first came into the competition there was something in you that I noticed that you just described there was just this innate 
joy. When they told me that you were sober, that's exactly what I was responding to because I've been so just celebrated 20 years before we started this journey together. And it was so beautiful to me because finding out that what I was responding to was that light and that joy. That <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah, so it's a fun, it's, it's a fun so picture. Cute. Tell me about mm. your journey. My journey started in Greece. I grew up in a very, very, very religious, conservative mm. surrounding. And from the moment that I was brought into this world, I had all these expectations thrusted upon me in a way. Mm -hmm. Walking a certain way, speaking a certain way, acting a certain way. When you're so young and everybody tells you this is wrong, don't do it this way, don't sit that way, don't cross your legs that way. You think that there's something wrong with you. I would pray for for release or mm -hmm. of my miracle to be fixed somehow. And I wish I could grab my younger self from the shoulders and shake him and be like, your prayers are not being answered because there's absolutely nothing wrong with you. Mm -hmm. One more picture. Hmm? Bradley, okay. what would you oh. say to young